Good evening, boxing fans. This is Sean with BoxingSocials.com. We're back with the next round of questions. Once again, we have Eric D. Styles, Joe with Rope Dope, Carcino Boxing Socials, and Mr. Boxing today. How y'all doing, fellas? So, I'm good. All right. Good. good. We're going to start from a round of questions. We're going to go from Mr. Boxing, then Carcino, then Joe, and then Eric just round it in. Breaking news. Juan Manuel Lopez against Orlando Salido for April 16th and Roberto Clemente Coliseum in Puerto Rico. Showtime's going to televise it. Mm, Salido's 34 wins, 11 losses, 22 knockouts, two draws. Of course, we know from the exchange of knockdowns he had with Yorkers Gambor, uh, but he still lost a 12-round decision. How do you see that fight going? Well, I have breaking news. They're just prolonging Gamboa and Lo in a Lopez fight. Uh, Lopez is going to win this fight. He's going to he can outbox them or he can knock them out. Uh, I hate when people go off of, well, he fought Gamboa and Styles make fights. That fight was that fight. This fight, he's going to get dominated. You need to make this Lopez and Gamboa fight. I'm getting sick of this. Okay, you fight a guy and just be, you know, we can see who perform better. I hate when the promoters and their handlers get into this PC fit, man. I hate this type of stuff in boxing. It's one of the things I hate about boxing, but it's the tradition of boxing is going to keep going. But I see uh, Lopez dominating this fight. Uh, I have Lopez. I did a video uh, having one of the four top uh, fighters from, the, from Puerto Rico of the decade. This decade is going to be his. He's going to own that island. So I'm going to go I, I, I tell you what, Mr. Boxer, we're going to come back to you. We're still having Mike Pollard with you. Over to you, Carcino. Oh, man, I think it's going to be an action-packed fight. But I think so. At least won't be able to deal with the type of pressure. The size of Lopez uh, will give him problems. Gamboa had problems controlling him because Gamboa went in with the wrong game plan. He went in there to try to knock him out. I think uh, Lopez will be able to get the knockout long term down the road but he likes to box a little bit more early on but then he tries to you know, be more aggressive and put apply more pressure to him and I just don't think Solis uh, could, can stand with that type of power and that kind of pressure but it's going to be an action packed fight because he's going to throw a lot of punches but the body shots that uh, Lopez is going to throw is going to make the difference Gamboa don't throw a lot of body shots that he should, and he should have done in that fight. He was head hunting too much and got himself caught, got himself in trouble, and made a harder fight for himself. But I think he, I agree with Mr. Boxer, though. They just really prolonging the fight that people like, man, we want to see it, right? Because Gamboa said people in Puerto Rico, they're they're split over there. Like some of them saying Gamboa is going to win, and there's people over there is going for Lopez. <laughs> And they're asking them everywhere they go, like, when you guys are going to fight? You know, it was voted the top the top four of the fights people wanted to see this year. It's in the top four. And right. we talking about flyweights. <laughs> like, life is it. You know, this is the top right. four of the top fights people wanted to see this year. Right. All right, over to you, Joe. I think this fight, I just can't see it ending any other way than the, than the uh, Gamboa fight ended. But I think it'll be a little different. Because... Yeah, Bowie did start off aggressively, but then he tried to box a little bit later on, and he allowed Slita to move forward because he wasn't really moving forward himself. He kind of laid back and tried to box from the outside a little bit, I thought. Whereas um, Lopez isn't going to do that. I think Lopez will try to push him back the whole fight, and he'll put the pressure on. And he's a little bit more of an accurate puncher than Gamboa, too. You could argue that Gamboa may be the harder puncher, but I think Lopez is the more accurate puncher, and he's a little bit better combination puncher. So I think he'll be able to hit uh, Salido more often, and I think he'll be able to hit him uh, precise, and I think he'll hurt him more. And as Casino said, they could go downstairs and upstairs. And I, I just think he would stop. I think he's going to stop Salido. And I think he's going to just go right at him. You know, you, you can look at the common opponent these two guys had, Mataguas, and how, how that was just a different fight, because I think Lopez was a little drained in that fight, and I, I don't think that you know, he, he boxed smart in that fight. He didn't pick and choose his spots. I think in this fight, he'll pick and choose his spots a lot better. I think he's learned as a fighter. He's actually getting better now. We, we were questioning him a little bit because he was getting hit a lot. He was getting hurt. 
But I think now he's starting to come into his own. I think he's starting to settle down a little bit, starting to know when he's got to fight, know when he's got to box. He's keeping right. his hands a little tighter now. Right. And I, I just see him walking right right through Salido. I, I know Salido's a tough guy, but I, I just think that Gamboa kind of let him off the hook a little bit in the last fight by not really going in and being Gamboa. I think Gamboa was trying to be a little bit too slick. He's trying to play him safety first too much. Whereas I think Lopez is just going to be right aggressive, like he was in the Concepcion fight, and like he was in the Marquez, uh, Marquez fight, he just closed the show in those fights. And I right. think he's going to close the show in this fight. Right, right. So I just, okay. I just think he's probably going to stop about right. seven, eight rounds. Just stop about seven, eight rounds. Seven, eight, oh, you okay. got the rounds. <laughs> he's already got the rounds. Yeah, All I right. got to stop picking the rounds. All right, next we're going, next we're going to go over to Eric. Eric, before you, you tell us what you think, you know, you, uh, on Twitter you go by D Styles Boxing. You know, tell us what exactly does D style stand for? D style boxing. That's a whole. That's a long story. And my first YouTube um, screen name was Dragon Style, right? And then that I lost that channel, so now I just shortened it up to D style. Okay. You know, and okay. just Dragon Style and like Spain Fire. You know, you know what I mean? Right, so right. I, I love to debate, man. I love to debate. That's like a real short story, that <laughs> Man, you know what, Eric? Eric, you're the second story I heard tonight where somebody's got banned off YouTube. We only want to go into Carcino's whole story. But anyway, what, what do you oh, think? Yeah, what do you think about that fight? Man, it's my first reaction was that it's 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 better than the other fights I was hearing about. You know, so I think it's better than the proposed Ricky Burns fight they had and. You know, I think this is a good fight. Um, if if we know that we're going to get a Gamboa after this, you see, I want to know when we're going to get the Gamboa fight. Uh, like, you know, it's I don't want to keep guessing. You know, I do hope we get the Gamboa fight somewhere down the line. I want to see the Gamboa fight, and that's the fight I want to see. You know why? Because this fight is a test. It's not a challenge. It's about time these guys got to challenge each other, and they're gonna. They're both going to have to bring it up to the next level. We're going to see who, who has what it takes. And that's why everybody wants to see that fight. They want to see boxers challenge themselves, not test themselves. Testing yourselves for prospects. That's what testing yourselves for. You're a world champion now, and it's time to prove that you're the best. And you're not proving you're the best in your division by winning this fight. you got to prove you're the best by beating Gamboa and maybe even a Chris John. I mean, that that's what I want to see. And hopefully we'll get it, but... Good fight. I'm gonna watch it, of course. But it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's on the same day as the con fight, so that HBO has. So a problem with the con fight. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. Okay. Okay. Thanks, fellas. I appreciate all your comments. Take care.